What time is it? Seven thirteen. The train is late. Go ahead and start getting ready for school. Bye. Bye. Why I tell you about using that word? Sorry, Ma. You gotta watch where you're going. No hot water. You gonna stop talking to my boy like that? Hey, what are you talking about? I'm always looking out for him. You looking out for him? Since when does telling him what to do every day and, and, and calling him a nigga every two seconds looking out for him? You looking out for him? Look, check yourself. I ain't raising no overseers. What you need to stop babying him? Excuse me? I don't see your name or near Bill in here. You don't pay for shit, keep that shit to yourself. Look, I'm just trying to make sure he doesn't end up too soft. Exactly, I know what he is. But you want him to be a, a, like one of these little dusty ass niggas oh, out here? Like me? A nigga like me, right? That's what you mean? Look, I just want to make sure that he has the confidence he needs before he goes off to the private school. How are we paying for that, huh? How how we I'm paying for it? it? You barely make ends meet as it is. Three jobs and we still struggle. As it is. I said I got it. It's bullshit. I got it. There's a stain on that. Yeah. If we want to next, won't he be mad? Let me start making some money. Then he could be mad. See you later, Ma. And Ma, don't worry about Brooks. I'll make sure we can afford it. I don't even want you thinking about it. Just make sure you come straight home after school. I need you to be here to make sure they turn the hot water on, all right? You always wait to the last minute. I will. Love you. I love you too, baby. You're black and a boy. You've got two strikes against you. The way that I see you and the way they see you is different. You only get one chance to make it out of here. And look, this private school is your ticket out. God will make a way. When I see you, I see that you're my black little boy. They don't know you like I do. I can't afford to make the same mistake twice. When you leave this house, I need you to keep your head down. Don't make eye contact for too long. You're special. And I don't need those little boys on the block knowing that so they can try to take from you. So promise this, promise me you'll be good and listen to what I tell you. Josh, what the hell? Bro, what do you have to be afraid about? And how'd I know I was gonna find your fat ass in here? You were supposed to be in my crib 15 minutes ago. I was just running late, my bad. So, what you trying to do, you come in or not? Yeah, let me just pay for this first. Bro, just put that shit in my bag. Nah, man. I got the money for it. Be a real nigga for once. It don't make sense to steal something I could pay for. How's your mom been? He's okay. 
I mean, she doesn't watch me as much as you do on your little camera, but she's okay. I don't need a bag. You happy? Yo, you seen that girl at the court yesterday? Oh, yeah, yeah, I know who you're talking about. Um, Tiffany, right? Mm-hmm. Bro, I hit that last week, son. Damn. You, you know what? I'm gonna give you her number. You, you should holler at her. Nah, you good, you good. Why, why not? Bro, I wanna be in there first, bro. First one, best time. All right, yo, how about um, Miss Martinez from the corner store? What about her? You, you wanna smash? Bro, where'd you get the Skittles from? From the store. All right, bro. Bro, you, you confuse me. All right, all right. All bullshit aside, you ready? Yeah. I don't fuck with that. No, 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 no. Not with that funny shit. I'm good, let's go. Nah, fuck that. Say it with your chest. Let's go! All right, calm your eyes down being all loud and shit. It's around that block. Come on, let's go. Okay, wait over there. I'll be back, okay? Yo, come on, hurry up. All right, so I'm gonna take upstairs. You can clear it down here, okay? Move quick. What you find? All I really found was this gold necklace. It's worth no more than 150. There has to be something good around here. What made you choose this house? Well, I've been watching them for a little minute and I just knew they wouldn't be home. Besides, do you not see all the nice shit in here? I mean, like, come on. Yeah, but there's nothing worth taking. Everything is either too big or is a little come up. What time do they come home? Why are you asking mad questions? Just know we gotta hurry up. Where's your bag at? I left it downstairs. Let me just use your bag for now. Out of, out of all the times you choose to be unprepared, you choose right here, right now. Here. Go check one of the other rooms.
you gotta do what you gotta do, my nigga. For real. Anything to make it. I'm not trying to be in the Bronx forever, man. You gotta move up. I see us in Harlem. On them brownstones, you know what I'm talking about. Bitches coming through. You got your little girl or whatever. You know? Living our best kind of life, man. But I see something in you that I ain't never seen before. Seriously. Protect that shit. Don't keep all these niggas guessing. Don't let them box you in. You break through. Show them you more. Surprise them every single time, man. Yo, Josh, come in here. Did you know this was in here? I mean, I knew that that pushed weight, but sheesh. Let me just go get my bag from downstairs. Science physics, you don't need this shit. Si bro, science physics not making my family money. I'm trying to make sure I can get out of this shit. I'm trying to eat now. Well, I hope you fucking starve. Get. Developing at the moment, two unidentified teenage boys were found in this Bronx home after what investigators are calling a frightening home invasion. Neighbors came flooding out of their homes once they heard shots were fired. One suspect has been admitted to Montefiore Medical Center and is in critical condition, and the other was pronounced dead at the scene of the crime. Oh, well, nigga probably deserved it. police and investigators are working to clarify specifics in this usually quiet neighborhood. Officers arrived at the scene minutes after receiving a call from the homeowner stating that upon on arriving to his home, he noticed that his front door was unlocked, saw one of the suspects, Congratulations. and opened fire once a threat was posed. He Please states that he was protecting his property and doesn't see the reason why his home was targeted. He's thankful Shit. that all of his children were at school and his wife was at work as this treacherous yeah, incident took place. As we get updates on the scene of the crime, we'll be sure to inform the public as soon as possible. This is Micah Rivers reporting live, Channel 2 Live Action News.